Hey everyone, I made a mistake. I didn't explain this tapping process to you and how it works. People don't really understand a simple solution, but it really does embody an acupuncture method to where this, the points that I gave you, these points that I'm giving you, they connect to meridians and certain organs in the body. And they help to release and to let go of the patterns that we hold. Because these patterns that we hold, they create our future. And it also helps you to relax and it helps bring you into the present moment. I don't know what books you've read. I'm going to share with you in another video the, some of the books that I've read that talk about this present moment that we need to bring ourselves into to overcome the past. There's no other way, really. Uh, the best way that I found is this tapping method. And having read all these books is honing in. This tapping process helps me to hone in on these things because sometimes just reading about it is not enough. It's just not enough. And now that I have this process, all of the books that I've read, all of these techniques that I've read about, these wonderful techniques, I'm able to use them along with this tapping process to speak to myself in ways and bring myself into the present moment in ways that I have never been able to do on my own with just the words alone. The tapping helps release these patterns. It helps release the past. It helps bring you into the present moment. If you're holding on to these things, you will never get to the place where you want to be and where you need to be. I don't use the word never very often, but you will never get there if you hold on to the past any part of it. You hold on to the wonderful great things and the wonderful great things you will carry on. If you hold on to the negative, hurtful, traumatic past, you will never get to where you want to be. You will keep recreating and recreating this. And the more you understand this, the better off your future will be for yourself, for your kids, for your future. Come along with me on this journey and we will get there together. I'm not perfect and I'm not there yet. I'm still working on things. I still have no money in the bank, but that's okay. Because I tapped away my emotional attachment to the pain that I felt when I looked at my bank statement. I tapped it away. I was crying looking at my bank statement. I do not do that anymore. I let it go. And you can too. Peace and love.